Hello, I'm Diane Bennett and I'm going to show you how to use your Hague linker for assembling your knitwear and for decorative effects. The linker gives you a really top quality finish to your knitwear in a fraction of the time that it takes to hand sew. In fact, it is the finish used for the most expensive commercially made knitwear. You'll find that if you follow the techniques that I'm going to show you in this video, for example putting on your neckbands and doing cut and sew necklines and neckbands, that you can save even more time than just actually sewing your seams with the linker. Now the linker comes in two versions. There's an electric one and a hand one. We've chosen to use the electric one for the video because then you will be able to see more clearly and I haven't got to put my hand across in front of you to turn the handle. The techniques are exactly the same if you've got a hand operated linker. Here is the linker. This is the point ring. The knitted fabric is pushed onto that before it's linked. That holds it in place and stops it stretching while you're joining your knitting. The garment is normally linked with the yarn that you've used to knit it. You can use textured yarns, for example hobby, and fluffy yarns for linking your knitted fabric together. You will find that some very heavily textured yarns won't link and you will need to use a smooth toning yarn to link those. If you have a chunky machine then you will probably need to use a finer toning yarn to link your chunky garments together. The fabric is joined with a chain stitch seam which looks like this. The seam has a chain on one side and on the other side a straight stitch. I've done this piece with a contrast yarn but of course you would normally use a matching yarn to join your two pieces of fabric together. Before you start assembling a garment always think about the order that you need to join your pieces. This is a fairly simple set in sleeve jumper and for this one you would join one shoulder then link the neckband and then join the other shoulder. While you can still open out the two pieces of knitting put in the sleeves. Then you have the two long seams to join starting from the cuff down to the armhole and then the side seam to the welt. Now that can be done in one complete piece Put the first section onto the ring and link it and then pull off the linked section and put on the remainder of the seam. If you've been knitting a raglan garment, join three of the raglan seams before you put the neckband on. Then join the remaining raglan seam and the long seams just like the one I've just shown you. To thread up the linker, put the cone of yarn over the yarn holder here. Then take the end of the yarn up and over the top yarn guide. On the back of the linker you'll find the tension discs. Thread the yarn between the tension discs. There's a nut here which controls the amount of tension on that yarn. Normally you leave it in the same position but for linking neckbands you'll probably need to loosen it off about two turns but do remember to tighten it up again afterwards. Next the yarn goes through the two yarn guides at the front of the linker here. There and there. And finally use the needle threader to thread the yarn through the channel like that and through the needle making sure that you take the yarn from front to back as you thread it through the needle. To join two pieces of knitted fabric with closed edges 
Put the first piece onto the linker pins with the right side facing you. To get a neat seam, you need to push the fabric on as close to one stitch from the edge as you can manage. Now put the second piece on. This is more difficult because you can't see as easily how far from the edge you are. It takes a bit of practice but you will get used to it. Before you start linking, check that you've got the same amount of fabric above the pins all the way along. If you've got a piece which you haven't put on properly, just pull it off and put it back on again correctly. Then you're ready to start linking. Move the point ring round so that it's close to the beginning of the knitting. Hold the end of the yarn and then start linking. Don't stop immediately you get to the end, but do a few more chain stitches so that you can get the knitting off without them undoing. Remove the loop from the looper, pull some extra yarn through, and then you can remove the knitting from the linker. That extra piece of chain at the end should be run back to the end of the knitting. Now this bit's very important. If you've made a mistake, you can quite easily pull that seam out. But if you're happy with it, then you must pull the end of the yarn through the loop to secure that seam like that. <laughs>